an attack by a group known as ISIS-K. <clears throat> took the lives of American service members, standing guard at the airport, and wounded several others seriously. He had also wounded a number of civilians, and civilians were killed as well. These American service members who gave their lives — it's an overused word, but it's totally appropriate here — were heroes. Heroes who have been engaged in a dangerous, selfless mission to save the lives of others. They're a part of an airlift, an evacuation effort unlike any scene in history, with more than 100,000 American citizens. American partners, Afghans who helped us, and others taken to safety in the last 11 days. To those who carried out this attack, as well as anyone who wishes America harm, know this. We will not forgive. We will not forget. We will hunt you down and make you pay. I will defend our interests and our people with every measure at my command. We will not be deterred by terrorists. We will not let them stop our mission. We will continue the evacuation. I've also ordered my commanders to develop operational plans to strike ISIS-K assets, leadership, and facilities. We will respond with force and precision at our time, at the place we choose, in the moment of our choosing. Here's what you need to know. These ISIS terrorists will not win. We will rescue the Americans in there. We will get our Afghan allies out. And our mission will go on. America will not be intimidated. And I ask that you join me now in a moment of silence for all those in uniform and out. Uniform military and civilian who have given the last full measure of devotion. 